afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Melvin Lamphere Foster. I was born in Columbus Junction, Iowa on January 25th, 1899. With the exception of some family members, everybody calls me Mel. The grandchildren call me Unc. My family moved to Davenport when I was 10 years old. I went to school there and graduated from Davenport High School. During the Great War, my family moved to Chicago. I moved to Oklahoma, where I did clerical work for a flour milling, flour milling firm there. I also attended classes at Northwestern State in Normal, Oklahoma. I followed that with two years at Officer's Candidate School back here in Davenport. In 1921, I married Edna Barr, and I also became a real estate agent. Two of the best decisions I ever made in my life. I owned my own business by the age of 21. I was also the only employee. However, that changed fairly quickly, and by 1927, we had built our first house on Telegraph Road. That was also the year my son and namesake was born. To say that was only the beginning would be a gross understatement indeed. I was of the mind early on in my life that by providing plentiful and affordable housing, that bigger and better employers would be enticed to move to this area. By the time the Great Depression had us in its clutches, I was busy developing unique housing additions such as Sunnymead and Golden Gate. By 1936, we had offices in Moline, Rock Island, and Davenport, plus a full-service insurance division. World War II came along and brought new challenges, that's for sure, but it also brought new opportunities. I was the first realtor in Iowa to borrow money from the new Federal Housing Administration, money that was used to develop Davenport Garden homes. That was homes to provide housing for the increasing number of defense workers that were moving to the area. We next developed Embassy Park, which at the time was Davenport's largest single housing development. But one of the biggest feathers in my cap was the acquisition of the $70 million needed in property for the Davenport Alcoa Works. I later supervised the construction of the housing for 130 homes in the area for key personnel. Following that was the procurement of sites for Mid-American's nuclear energy plant in Cordova and the Caterpillar tractor plant in Mount Joy. And I wish I could stand here and list all of the community and civic organizations that I've been a part of over the years, but the list is literally too big to mention. I like to think of myself, though, as a man that gets things done. The fact of the matter is that by pursuing my dreams, building my business, enhancing my personal wealth, I've been able to give back to my community and to my country in ways that most people can only dream about. I can only hope that when I'm gone, that my vision is passed on to those who care about the quality of life here as much as I do, and that they pursue innovations in construction and housing that make more families want to move here and make the Quad Cities their home forever. Thank you.